Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I want to talk about networking on a server like this this is the Lenovo X3650 model 4 and it comes with four one gigabit network cards and one um, IMM internet thingy which is just for the management but you can install 10G in this server and I want to go that way I want to be warming up to uh, be ready to go 10G I have just gotten a switch that can do 10G it has four ports with 10G connections and it has 48 ports of 1G so I want my main server to go in to the switch with a 10G connection and to be able to communicate with the switch as fast as possible and maybe some of the other equipment on the switch well actually most of the other equipment on the switch will be running 1G but the main server will have the, the most bandwidth to communicate with everything on this at the same time with high speed so um, well I have a couple of options that I want to show you here I have them right here on the server right here I have a box this is from 2014 it's uh, still IBM branded but this is a 10G network card we can just open that it has more or less never been used so um, there's a bracket for it if you want to move it into a smaller uh, low profile slot and there's a bit of manual and here is the car so something about warranty and licensing information um, kitting report more documentation and there is even a CD which we are probably never going to be using so, so this is the normal way to put in a 10G card here it is here's the card this is a two port 10G card which means that um, you would be able to run two 10G connections off of here uh, combined 20 gigabit connection so um, this one is an Emulex branded one um, the normal thing with these servers is that you can get different brand of network cards there is Qlogic, Emulex but there are different cards from different manufacturers that um, is approved for the Lenovo servers here and what that means is that you have to go buy a card that comes in a Lenovo case uh, in this case it's an older IBM case but if you buy this and it's Lenovo branded and, and so on the guarantee and service from the server this server could be this one is from 2014 so right now it's about three years old so if there is service on this server and there is six of these cards in here and one of them goes bad if this is an Lenovo branded uh, Emulex card the service of the server will cover the card as well so um, and the firmware and stuff they will ensure that that is compatible so that's um, that's an option but I want to install another option this card can be purchased relatively cheap used um, on Amazon or eBay because there is not a very big market for them yet but they are slowly but surely rising in price used here I have another option this is more or less the same thing but it's a card that does not go into the PCI Express ports down here you see it has no um, plug and play thing it has a big connector right here and this is because this card is only meant to go in this specific server so this is a card that Lenovo has had in this case uh, Intel makes specifically for their server it's regularly referred to as a daughter card like mom and daughter so this is the mother system and this is the daughter card and um, well I want to install this in my server and this is the same thing it will give me two 10G connections 
it will not take up any slots on the back of the server here but I still get the same thing so um, that is pretty awesome together with this card you need some um, FSPs they are called I am not sure what that stands for actually I have some over here and these are modules that you put in um, I have four of them right here different brands and um, this is what translates the laser signal the optical fiber signal to an electric current instead so in here the magic happens these are not very expensive but these can be very expensive and they can cost next to nothing and that all depends on what quality and what purpose these are if this is the normal ones they can like go from a switch to a um, to a server or something like that and that's not very expensive if you need one of these to go 300 kilometers it will cost you a bit more so um, well when you have this card you um, you get these and for my purpose I can go with some really cheap ones I have no idea what these ones cost but you um, kind of just plug them in this is wrong that's not gonna cut it so I'll have to turn that around and it pops into place I will just be needing one in my server for to, to start with but well it looks cooler with two right so um, I will plug in two of those so I'm ready to go 10G here and the cables for 10G they're fiber optic cables and this one is called LC LC and that's the connector type here and it comes with two fiber optic cables here and that's meant for traffic then traffic can go um, it can communicate one way on one lead and the other way on the other lead so um, well that's how this system works you can also get fiber optic cables where the communication is um, in the same fiber optic string but it's not widely used right here so you take the cable and you pop it in the network card here like that and it locks into place you have to be careful with these fiber optic cables they're very um, fragile so not to bend them too much or actually I've heard that if you just tap them like that that can be measured and they will become bad so actually I get these cables from work because we don't reuse them if the cables has been installed in the server and we're taking that down we're not gonna be reusing the cables because we don't trust it anymore so um, I trust it enough to play with it at home so now that I have this uh, connected up I would have to go into a to a switch with this and over here on the shell I have a switch here and it has four 10 gig ports right there so I could take one of these FSPs pop it into that switch like so and do it the right way would help me there and I can pop in my um, network card here like so and I would have a 10G connection from my server which we are imagining is connected to this dude and over to my switch which we're imagining is in my rack so um, that should be all good right so right now I'm just gonna pop in the card to um, to be ready for the switch so um, oh, let's um, let's go see that it's mentioned this is the Lenovo X3650 model 4 and the 10G connection is located under this riser card. I have occupied this with a graphics card right now, so um, I'll have to remove that temporarily to get access to that. So we'll just put that over here. And as you can see, there is a nice connector right here. And my best guess is that that will fit really well with this thing. And um, oh, we're gonna pop that in on the back there's a screw to release this cover thing I'm hoping 
I think the screw might go back in again. The back of the server has this cover for when you don't have this card in. It's a little metal piece, so um, so you're not able to stick anything and to uh, to make sure that the airflow is right. I'm sure they have measured out how much airflow goes through these holes to uh, not do anything stupid. So we're gonna be popping this one in and securing that. I see there's a couple of screws here that oh that is used to tighten it down to the connector here. So that is gonna help. Otherwise there are some blue plastic things here where it's gonna be sitting and be holding that in place. So let's pop that in. Hmm, I'm kind of irritated about these two not being the same height. There, that looks better. So, well, let's pop this in and see um, if that's good. I do hope so. And this cable here is for my battery. I hope that will still be good. Okay, that looks um, fairly easy, so I'll just pop that in and press the connector down very carefully, not to damage anything. Screw this one in. There. And I'll go and um, pick up a screwdriver to, uh, to fasten these two. Ah, I didn't. Okay, there is actually a little drawing on this daughter board here. Um, and it seems I've actually done it in the right order. Let's see if this screwdriver fits in here. It does. Um, these are plastic headed, so I have to be careful not to over screw them. Otherwise, they will be very hard to get out again. So, there. Fastened. Cool. So now it's going to be interesting to see if this goes back in. That is, a, that's a must. Okay, this cable from the battery does not fit as well anymore. I don't know if I could have put that underneath. Uh, it seemed like a tight fit, so I hope it can sit right there. Um, let's put this back down. That feels okay. No problem there. This little metal thing, very important to get that out of there. So, otherwise, I should be ready to um, pop this back in. So, on the back of the server, this is what it now looks like. There is these two FSPs sticking out there. I have to connect my management here and the regular network connections over here so that I can communicate with the server again and I think we'll just see if it pops up with a new network card. I will have to connect that to a 10 gigabit switch. I have one up here. Let me get the camera up there. Uh, there. I have one 10 gigabit switch connected. Uh, the plan is that I want one more over here, but I have to move a lot of stuff before I can do that, so uh, that's on the to-do list. But uh, well, right now the first 10 gigabit server is hmm ready for production-ish. Okay, server has booted, and we are back in business. Well, let's see what we get here. Open network and sharing center. Change it back to settings. And yes, we now have network number six and number seven is 10G FPS plus. So that is awesome. And they're not connected. I have this, um, the server has a USB remote in the IS network thing that is apparently connected and then this network connection over here which is one of the regular 1G connections that is connected to but it sees the two 10G ports down here so um, 
they should be ready to go and it's a DP embedded CNA X522 is this 521 then? oh that's two number two that's weird okay it works okay first 10 gigabit ethernet card has been installed here at my playhouse and I'm kind of ready to go that way I need to move some stuff around over here on top to make room for my switch which is right now sitting on the shelf which is really stupid because it's, it's a rather expensive switch and uh, it should be in production instead of just collecting dust but I'll get to that at some point so um, thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again hit that bell thing somewhere up where is it here or there you have to hit the bell and it has to and then you'll be notified when there is a new video YouTube keep messing this up for us creators so uh, please hit the bell thing so well have a really nice day bye bye